Philip Air has moved into the crawl space beneath a home in Sierra Madre, making himself at home and refusing to leave. The couple who lives in the house says the bear usually leaves at night and comes back to their home early in the morning. What's he doing out uh -huh. there? And in there, we came face to face with the wild squatter this morning while covering this story. Sandra Mitchell is live in Sierra Madre with more on this, shall we say, stubborn bear, Sandy? Yeah, he's stubborn and he looks pretty comfortable. I'll tell you that it's a pretty amazing story unfolding here in this Sierra Madre neighborhood right now. I'm going to step out of the way and show you exactly what's going on behind us because you see the backyard, this kind of dirt space just beyond the bushes and right in front of that wooden fence, there is a crawl space under the house and that's where the bear has taken up residence going in and out as he pleases. Well, last week uh, we were in this neighborhood because there was a bear breaking into houses and now it seems the situation has really escalated. There is a very large bear, uh, some estimates he's up to 400 pounds living under this house. Let's show you some of that amazing video you were talking about. Our KTLA photographer surprised to see this huge bear still in the crawl space under this back porch. The bear apparently broke in a few weeks ago. This is Sunnyside Avenue in Sierra Madre and the bears just made this his home. Ever since the uh, bear sightings in the area in Sierra Madre and up in the canyon, which uh, of course is a little more understandable, uh, it's become very common. The bear sightings, very, very common. A lot of people in the neighborhood say they're completely comfortable with it, but some say they're a little bit worried because the bears are getting more aggressive, more territorial, going inside homes and under homes. Fish and Wildlife was out here on the scene today talking about setting up sprinklers. We know they have set up a uh, trail cam. They're gonna watch this bear come and go. Let the bear um, leave naturally on its own without intervention. Um, and then once we confirm that the bear is left with our remote camera, um, we'll work with the homeowner um, to get that space boarded up. Okay, so again, that trail cam set up right back there. It is looking at the little window that the bear crawled into. Fish and Wildlife say they are not going to tranquilize this bear while he is under the house because that would be, of course, a very difficult situation to try and pull him out. They think the bear that then could possibly get stuck under the house. Not a very comfortable situation for anyone. We're live in Sierra Madre. Uh, Sharon Micah, back to you guys. Sandra, what are the neighbors saying? Do they want that bear removed? I think it's, it's kind of mixed. And Micah, I got to be honest, I think some people are a little bit uh, more perturbed that we are here. This is a really <laughs> quiet neighborhood, beautiful trees, um, people out walking around. So of course our live trucks are loud. We're trying to be as polite as possible. Obviously this is a story that needs to be told to warn people. Some people in the neighborhood say, uh, Bears are just a part of life here, but other people say, yeah, they're concerned about their small pets mm. and their children because obviously the bear is very comfortable mm -hmm. in this area. And he likes to go out at night, so uh, yeah. stay a safe distance away mm. <laughs> from that crawl space for us, Sandy. Cher, exactly. We are to we're told that he likes to go out between 10 and 1030 at night, so we're going to be here. We're going to be looking for that. Oh. Right now, the bear has not made any aggressive moves toward anyone. Thank goodness. As they say, watch your six, Sandra. <laughs>